the Battle of Tachinus occurred in November 218 BC. It was the first battle in Italy between Rome and Carthage in the Second Punic War. Two primary sources, Polybius and Livy, differed over this battle as the first battle. The Roman historian Livy viewed it as the first battle in the Second Punic War, but the Greek historian Polybius disagreed. In this case, Polybius was accurate. Hannibal would face in his first battle against his lifelong enemy, Rome. He would have to face the father of the eventual victor of the Second Punic War, Publius Cornelius Scipio. What was the battle like and its outcome? What was its background and aftermath? Find out today on Roman history. By 218 BC, he launched his invasion of Rome after sacking Saguntum, south of the Ebro, which Rome violated as a pretext for war. He left New Carthage, modern-day Cartagena, to cross the Pyrenees into France and through the Alps in five months. Meanwhile, Rome was preparing to invade Hannibal by attacking Spain, but Hannibal was not there. When Rome's consul, Publius Cornelius Scipio, knew about Hannibal's whereabouts from his cavalry in Gaul, modern-day France, at Marseilles, he realized that Hannibal would go straight to Italy by land. And so, Scipio decided to flee into the Po Valley to face Hannibal. After crossing the Alps, Hannibal's army was exhausted but battle-hardened. Both men were confident and eager to beat each other in battle. In Livy's account, Publius Cornelius Scipio's speech was there. He inspired his raw recruits by mocking Hannibal, referencing the victory at the First Punic War, his brother Nias dealing with Hannibal's brother Hasdrubal in Spain, and fighting for Rome. Also, Livy mentioned Hannibal's speech about the fight against Rome, touting the experience of fighting against Iberians and Gauls versus Roman raw recruits, giving rewards for victory against Rome, allying with Saguntum, part of Carthage's territory, against Carthage, and wanting the lands that Carthage lost in the First Punic War. The Carthaginians had 26,000 men and 37 war elephants. Polybius mentioned the specific types and numbers of infantry and only a specific number of cavalry. He said there were 12,000 African infantry, 8,000 Iberian infantry, and 6,000 cavalries. Livy gave 26,000 as the minimum but as many as 120,000 in his book in Chapter 38. For the Roman army, modern historians John F. Lazenby and Lewis Rawlings mentioned that the numbers compiled were 16,000 infantry and 3,600 cavalry. In the Second Punic War, the Roman army was mainly infantry. The young and inexperienced Hastati, the middle-aged and more experienced Principes, and older and veteran Triarii were the makeup of Roman heavy infantry. The general rule was 120 to 160 Hastati, 120 to 160 Principes, 60 Triarii, 120 Velitas or light infantry, and 30 cavalries, one unit. It added up to 450 to 600 troops, and by 10 would be 4,500 to 6,000. In the Battle of Tachinus, the Carthaginians had 6,000 cavalries engaging against 3,600 Roman and Gallic cavalries and up to 4,500 Velitas. Modern historians gave it to 2,000 Gallic and 1,600 Italic cavalries. The battle started with the Romans making a bridge across the Ticinus River. Second, Hannibal and Publius C. Scipio sent scouts to find their positions due to not knowing their exact locations. Third, Scipio used Velitas to attack Hannibal's cavalry first. Fourth, Hannibal saw that the Roman army had less cavalry and charged at the Romans. Fifth, Numidians were at the wings for outflanking the Roman cavalry and attacked the rear, which the Velitas retreated. Scipio was wounded and saved by his son Publius Cornelius Scipio, later to be Scipio Africanus, or by a Ligurian slave. Finally, the remains of the Roman army retreated to Placentia. The Battle of Ticinus was an example of Hannibal's use of cavalry, flanking maneuvers. Also, it showed the effectiveness of Numidian cavalry in the battlefield, and later, the Romans incorporated them in their armies. After the battle, the Gauls started to defect to Hannibal for the proof of victory against the Romans and the more lenient administrative part than the more heavy-handed Romans. 
Thank you for watching, and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications. I hope you enjoyed this video and will continue the special series, which will be on Wednesdays and Fridays during December.